Hey folks, I just wanted to see how fast I could get through this actually. So the idea here is that we are going to uh, try to host a site, uh, a WordPress site, um, using local by Flywheel, uh, using Gatsby, and using Netlify. So um, local by Flywheel is a local development environment here. Um, so you can see that at localbyflywheel.com. We are going to use Netlify. Um, you can sign up for this for free. Um, this is basically a, a place to, to host your static sites. Um, and we're going to also use Gatsby. Um, this is the documentation for Gatsby. And I'm actually using a fork of this Gatsby starter WordPress theme for the Gatsby community. Um, just changed it a little bit to make it work for our situation here. So. Um, we're also using the uh, Word, Gatsby source WordPress plugin here. Uh, there are uh, different ways you can go about, about sourcing content from WordPress, but um, we're going to use just the standard uh, REST API endpoints and everything. You can use WP GraphQL. It's a great plugin, and there's a Gatsby source GraphQL as well for that. So um, basically what we're going to be doing here is setting up uh, a local environment. This kind of already assumes that you have that set up. I'm just going to show you kind of a demo. Um, and then we're going to pull down a, a Git repository um, uh, that has this, uh, like a fork of this and everything. And uh, we're going to pull that in and pull the content from our local by flywheel install. And then uh, we're going to open up ngrok um, and put that on our Gatsby config. We're gonna run Gatsby builds uh, or Gatsby develop and then Gatsby builds to check and make sure everything's okay. And then we'll set up an environment on Netlify to make sure we can deploy things. And um, yeah, then it's it's gonna be all good. So this is just basically a proof of concept. Um, I wouldn't be migrating any client sites to this or anything, um, but it's just something that you can uh, do to uh, just play around with this and see what the possibilities are. So let's get started. This assumes that you have a site installed on local. Um, so I've got a Gutenberg test site set up there. I've installed the theme unit test data. So you can just see a bunch of posts and uh, pages and everything that gets set up uh, with that. Um, it's a pretty standard procedure, but it just gives you a bunch of dummy data to work with. So you can assume that we just have a whole bunch of posts and everything here set up already. Um, so what we're going to do then is go to the repository. So um, let me get there. So this will be the repository that we're going to be using. And we'll come over here and grab this uh, demo and paste it and let Gatsby do its work. So it's just installing all of the dependencies right now. And getting everything set up. Great, so we can CD into fun stuff, and then we can run, actually we should open this up here. So what we have is a Gatsby uh, install here. The main thing that we need to do right now is to go down and change the base URL in our Gatsby source WordPress plugin. So all we need to do is just change this up. Uh, to the current ngrok install. So uh, we currently are running ngrok here. Um, what that looks like is uh, local by flywheel allows you to have this live link set up. So you, if this is disabled, just click enable and it'll give you a brand new ngrok link. Um, so what that does is it just pulls out the um, live link for that. And we can copy that and bring that over here. And I believe it's the same. Um, just because I've been running this already, but got that. So save that, and then what we can do is go back here and then Gatsby develop. And this will start up a development server and compile all of our files uh, using ngrok as a endpoint here. So uh, one thing that you'll see sometimes is that uh, 
this will throw an error here. So let's just turn off ngrok for a second. And we'll go back here. And what we need to do is re-enable this. So now we have a brand new uh, ngrok endpoint. We'll close that one and just copy this and make sure it loads up everything just fine. And it does. So we'll take that and we'll put that over here. So we just need the, the URL, base URL without the protocol on it. Um, and then we'll try to run Gatsby develop again. Okay, so this time you can see that it compiled and uh, we're getting this Guten site, some fun Guten things and HTML tags and formatting here. Um, yeah, so this is exactly what we want. Some of this is uh, our dummy um, featured images, um, but this one, for example, is pulling in from the theme unit test data. So uh, we've got this working and so what we're gonna do now is create a repository for this on GitHub for fun. Um, so we just go to github.com slash new and just do a quick test and add light or sorry, create repository. <laughs> and then we'll just take this git add remote and add that there. Git we need to add anything, get add. So this is adding the change that we made on the repository to the current ngrok endpoint. And then let's we'll say initial commit for fun. And push origin master, of course. And that's just gonna push up the repository, so now the repository is there, and we're most of the way there. So what we need to do is go to, so you can see here on the repository, uh, we just need to uh, go to uh, deploy to Netlify. So uh, we'll do a new site from Git, and I'm gonna log on GitHub here. And what I can do is configure Netlify to add a new site here, so that and then add a repository so a quick test is the one that we want to add save and then select it and it's on the master branch so we actually want the build command to be Gatsby build and then the publish directory public so that's already set up and we just set deploy and then we sit back and wait while this deploys um, so you can see site deploy in progress Click on that, it's in queued, and we can come over here and see the deploy log while this is going. Okay, so after this is done, uh, you can see site is live. So let's go all the way up here back to deploys and this flamboyant Finman uh, with a bunch of numbers here. Um, so yeah, you can see that this is now hosted on Netlify. Um, and we can go through here and just see that all of the uh, yeah posts are, are showing up there as well as contact us page and everything that isn't styled very well, it looks like. So um, if you wanted to update the post, what you would basically do, uh, as long as your ngrok is the same and you don't need to change that. For example, you just come in here to 
the WP admin and go to posts and I have this draft here so a brand new unicorn uh, let's just move it to published and then you can come back over here and trigger deploy so deploy the site and it'll start a redeployment process again just like the last time okay so the site is live again um, so let's just come back over here to the flamboyant and just refresh and now we have a brand new unicorn up here letting the images load so um, let's also just kind of run real quick uh, audit just to kind of see where things are at here um, one of the things about this uh, particular uh, theme or it's not a theme actually from Gatsby it's just a starter but uh, it comes pretty well set up already uh, to get you some really good scores out of the box as well as a progressive web app so um, yeah this is a great probably starting point if you want to do a WordPress site on Gatsby um, you've already got all of your things that you need here uh, so yeah um, anyway uh, that's basically all you need to know how to host your site on local um, there are some drawbacks to this obviously uh, so you have you can have a lot of different sites here and if something happens to your local install let's say this gets corrupted or you delete it by accident then it's then it's gone so you want to make sure that you have uh, database access for it uh, the other thing here that you probably notice is that when this loads the image doesn't load right away and it's pulling from ngrok which is really really slow and so that means that you also need to have your ngrok uh, server running uh, currently just like at all times so if it's not running then it's not going to show those images it took a while for that to show so what i would say is probably a good answer to that uh, are two things one is that you can switch to a service called cloudinary cloudinary.com uh, and this is a place that will host your website or sorry your images for uh, basically for free they have a pretty generous free tier for images and um, you can check that out here um, the other thing is that if you are when, once you get offline uh, with ngrok once you disable this uh, for example um, even this probably will still show the, the images because um, it'll cache it but there's a potential, yeah, you can see that the images actually aren't showing up anymore because ngrok isn't live. So you might want to have those images hosted elsewhere. And again, uh, Cloudinary is just a free service that you can use for that. Uh, another thing that you can do, though, is use something like uh, Flywheel or uh, Pantheon or WP Engine or something like Spinup WP to host your site. And then your site is always online and uh, it can always reference those images. So. Um, the other side of this too is that each of these services, they're all really great. I love Flywheel, Pantheon is awesome, WP Engine is good, Spin Up WP is brought to you by the people from Delicious Brains, so you know it's good. Um, all of these services allow you to uh, stay online and they also give you backups um, and a ton of other things too. So last thing that I'll point out here is that uh, even though Netlify gives you a SSL, is that uh, there are uh, going to be mixed content warnings and stuff on here, so you want to make sure that things are served secure. Anyway, uh, this is just a little exercise on how to do this. It's totally possible, but you probably uh, will want to have a uh, fairly extensive setup for this. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this, and yeah, hope this is helpful.